Well, this is such a lovely story. This is about the pensioner who shaved 10 miles off the marathon by taking a sneaky shortcut and ending up in the Guinness Book of Records. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, he got it quite wrong and he actually finished before he actually started. <laughs> he finished in three hours and five minutes, setting the fastest time ever recorded <laughs> by anyone over 65. Over a distance of 12 miles. Why, <laughs> <laughs> Why were suspicions first aroused that something fishy had gone on? Because he beat the team from Kenya. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, Ian and Clive. I'm not sure that photo's real. Yeah. <laughs> Is it the Bee Gees? <laughs> <laughs> These are people who've been released this week. These are happy stories. She's Aung San Suu Kyi, who's yeah. the Burmese uh, opposition leader, who's been in prison for 15 years, and she's just been let out of house arrest. House arrest, yeah. Um, after a non-violent protest, which seems to have worked. Is it Paul and Rachel? These, uh, they were pottering around in their boat, and they were taken by Somali pirates, mm. and uh, they've been released. Somebody must have paid their ransom. One of the reasons they released is that the pirates were getting bored, because they've held them for ages, and it's not cost-efficient. And the intermediary was a Somalian taxi driver based in London. So no wonder they kept waiting. They kept saying, <laughs> yeah, I'll be with you in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it took three months. It's a... According to Max Clifford, the couple could make a million pounds from TV interviews. Adding a successful book could double or treble that. With a movie, you could go up to five million, even ten million. Then they really will be worth kidnapping. 